Greetings to all my friends that are listening to this broadcast. I'm really glad to be with you today. All around the world, I say hello to all my friends, and I trust God will bless you real good. I have a message I believe that you need to hear today because I believe the Lord is impressed upon me to share this scriptures with you. The first scripture I want to share with you comes from 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 1. And it says, This know this, that in the last days perilous times shall come. That's perilous times or difficult times or, or all kinds of perilous situations going on. Now, the last days, I guess, started with, with even when Jesus spoke these words or when Paul, rather, spoke these words to Timothy and his colleagues and told them the importance of, of uh, knowing that there was going to be false prophets of rise, imposters that was going to try to uh, deceive them and try to... Do, try to thwart the goal that they were trying to reach people for Jesus Christ. And it was interesting to, to read those scriptures because I believe that God wants to say something to us today. And the next scripture I want to share with you is 1 Timothy chapter 4 and verse number 1. Now the Spirit speaks expressly that in the last days some shall depart from the faith. Isn't that interesting that it says some shall depart from the faith? That doesn't mean everyone's going to depart from the faith. We recognize that there's a great falling away going on across the world, but it does say some will depart from faith, and they will be given heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. It will be a deceptive thing that will take over the lives of many people. Folks, don't be deceived nowadays by something Preachers that always preach on television and on radio don't always tell the truth and always stay with the word. Be sure you always listen to someone that preaches the truth and tells you the word. Don't fall for gimmicks and throwing things that uh, tried to get you into a money situation. Obey the Spirit of God and listen to God and follow His word explicitly and you cannot ever go wrong. And it says also in 2 Timothy Chapter 4, verse number 2, that the solution to all of this problem is to preach the word. Be instant in season and out of season. It tells us to reprove and rebuke. And notice there, it says, with all long suffering and doctrine. It's good to uh, uh, challenge some of these things sometimes, but be sure we need to consider ourselves you know, we're living in an imperfect world. There's a lot of things that we can say about people. All of us can look on, on us and say we've got some kind of faults that we need to do better on. But folks, I want to tell you, let us not be quick to judge people. And when we're going to be reproving or preaching of reproving uh, someone, be sure that we're in tune with the Holy Spirit and we're in line with the Word of God because it will sure not do anything. I, I'm, I feel bad for all the people that are going through difficult times today. Some of you know that me and my wife have been going some, through some difficult times, but it could be a lot worse, and I hear of things that are going on with a lot of other people that are a lot of worse. We need to keep the faith in God. We need to keep our belief system in, in charge. Regardless of the situation that's going on in the world, we need to keep our trust going on in the world and not be turning to the left or the right or listening to other things uh, or becoming discouraged with the signs of everything. There are so much things in the news today that will just really destroy your faith if you're not careful. Look to the Word of God and, and follow it exclusively. Don't turn to any other thoughts besides just the Word of God. I was thinking about uh, a song, you know, just recently, and uh, the song is titled, Desperation Brought Me Back to the Old Rugged Cross. Thank God for that old rugged cross. You know, the old rugged cross makes a difference. Uh, and the words of that song goes on to say, Like a frightened child in the night, in my G desperation, Jesus shined on me. Folks, don't forget that the most important thing in our life is to remember that Jesus died for us. He died on the cross that you might be saved and you might be healed. I want to encourage you today, if you don't know Jesus today, turn your eyes to Jesus today. Don't keep your eyes on the world. Love not the world or the things of this world. If you have the love of the world, the love of the Father is not in you. 
I encourage you to keep the faith today and stay in the Word. Seek advice from godly people if you don't know what's going on. And by God's help and grace, follow the Holy Spirit in your life with all confidence. Thank you for tuning into this broadcast. And remember, Raymond Mayfield loves you very much. And God bless you richly.